Hi guys, welcome back to video number five, beginner level. Uh, we will talk about uh, two points uh, perspective, and let's start with a quick recap from the previous video about one point perspective. So, as you remember, I hope you watched this video. If not, uh, uh, feel free to visit my channel and watch it again. Uh, so. What is one point perspective? One point perspective has one vanishing point and one, just to remind you, the vanishing point is a point where the parallel lines appear to converge. And the number of and placement of vanishing points is depends on, on type of perspective, such as one point perspective, two point perspective, three points perspective, or multi-point perspective. So here I just placed uh, three boxes, uh, three shapes above the horizontal line. Uh, let's do it again together with you. Uh, you can put any shapes any shapes in the space here. Uh, I would suggest as a beginner start with the simple forms like uh, uh, those uh, squares and uh, uh, blocks kind of you can see when I put uh, if I will put the uh, those shapes below the horizontal line so we will see those blocks from the top you will see the top surface of the object of, of the block or cube and uh, when you put above the horizontal line we will see more uh, bottom surface of the object so they are kind of floating above the above the surface above the the ground surface so yeah as you remember we talk about three basic uh, basic rules three basic uh, types of perspectives, one point perspective, two point perspective and three point perspective. And there are one more multiply point perspective that we will discuss later. Uh, and if you want to get more tips and more uh, feedback, kind of more explanation, more detailed explanation about each of those perspectives, and uh, also to touch on other topics, how to sketch and be very professional, uh, represent your ideas. Uh, please follow my, my channel. Uh, stay tuned to, uh, to receive the link on the, my new course with all those uh, detailed explanation, more deep uh, discussion about uh, about perspectives, about uh, shading, about materials um, and other other topics that will help you to be and to draw like professional designer. Okay, so at this moment I just uh, want to create more bold lines to show you the result of, of recap on uh, our first lesson about one point perspective. Again, one point perspective, it's a perspective with one vanishing point that you can put anywhere on uh, on horizon line, in the middle, left or right, and to connect corners of your objects with this vanishing point to help you to create one point perspective. Okay, let's quickly finish this introduction. Just to remind to ourselves from the previous lesson. Okay, and uh, now let's talk about two two points perspective. What is what is a two-point perspective? So, 
two point perspective it has two vanishing points it's kind of obvious <laughs> Uh, two vanishing points which are right and left vanishing point so left right and then from each of uh, those points I draw those lines that in the future will help me to uh, organize my my object into the space and create the correct perspective of this object it's just kind of grid, left and right, from two vanishing points that going left and right, the perspective going to left vanishing point and right. And here I can start to put my object in into the air kind of. And you can see it different between uh, one one point perspective and a two point perspective so our object it's not a front uh, front view square so I started with the uh, vertical lines and then because I have those uh, so vertical line and I already have uh, uh, supporting lines that going into the vanishing point to meet somewhere on the horizon line like this so you can see uh, one object above horizon line the second one below it's the same as as with the one point perspective if you putting your object above horizon line you will see the your object from the bottom and uh, if you are putting your object below horizontal line you will see kind of normal position uh, of the object that you are looking on top you, you can see the top surface of the object so here same just connect the corner with the one of the vanishing corners points there like this I would like to repeat two point perspective it has two vanishing points which are a left and right vanishing point okay with the two uh, two point perspective you will get the image and composition with more natural uh, more natural view is compared to one point perspective so most of the objects uh, that we we see around us we kind of observing this object from two point perspective okay as usual let's make it a little bit bold to see the object floating there and standing here on the surface below so those objects above horizon line so horizon line uh, it's a imaginary line which appear across the picture and at uh, the eye level it's our eye level Okay, a little bit more shading just to make it more visible. And of course, as before, we can add some shading, shadow, or reflection below the, the object. If you will do this uh, shadow very close to the uh, bottom line of this cube, uh, it will look like the cube really stands on the surface in my case here the object the float a little bit so this is a horizon line horizon line it's an imaginary line which appear across the picture 
and at the eye level. Okay, looks good. And uh, let's move, move on. Just to repeat, 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 to create clear understanding what is the two points perspective, left and right, two points that uh, that are sitting on the horizontal line. As you can see, I just create here some objects, three objects that are standing in line. And because of this perspective, the first object is always the biggest one, and the last one is the smallest one. And those lines, perspective line, helps us to create uh, proper proper perspective, proper proportions. If you want to know more about uh, about perspective and other topics, how to draw, how to sketch, like professional designer, please follow my my channel. Look for for link on a special course that will include all details all tips about how to draw, how to sketch. So one more time, this, this time I will put, will put object below eye level, below horizontal line, so the eye level will be below the, this line, and in this case we see our object a little bit from the top. You can see the top surface of those cubes. So that means the station point where we are standing and uh, observing the object is the point below the uh, kind of horizontal line. So the station point is a point of location where the observer views the image of the perspective. Okay, let's make some shadow there. Looks good. Yeah, as I mentioned here, here, those dimensions they will become smaller and smaller. Not all those details about proportions and how to actually calculate and uh, create the proper perspective uh, with proper proportions of uh, specific objects and more complex objects. Please follow my uh, channel, find the link on a special course that uh, you will find more tips and more explanations about perspective and other topics that will help you to become a uh, very good uh, sketcher, drawer and to sketch and draw like, like a professional designer. Okay, again some uh, last touches to create more clean and bold lines, like this. I want to remind you, we are, we are doing now two points perspective with uh, two vanishing points. For some people who just uh, joined our lesson or scroll this video, uh, vanishing point is a point where the parallel lines appear to converge and the number and placement of vanishing points is determined by types of perspectives such as one point perspective, two point perspective or others. Okay, so here we have very strong perspective from the bottom 
my object will float and uh, it looks like I am as observer standing almost below the floating object let's make one more from the different side so you can see uh, you can put those vanishing points in different positions and uh, if you create different perspective different composition of the object in the space so as you can see I'm using different position of the object in the space below the horizon line above horizon line to create different composition to create different view on the, my object uh, so yeah I hope you uh, like this video and find this video useful for you if you want more deep explanation about uh, uh, perspective about uh, how to draw different materials how to create uh, presentable sketches and uh, in general about uh, professional sketching you can find the link uh, that I will provi provide uh, soon so please stay tuned uh, to find this link and uh, yeah, follow follow my channel uh, and most important uh, train yourself make exercises follow my channel follow my uh, sketches and uh, yeah thanks again see you next time